today and today we're going to have a game of Hydra on the Commodore 64 now I have reviewed this on the other major computers um, but the reason why I haven't reviewed the Commodore 64 version yet because I couldn't find a working copy now I have now this is based on the Atari arcade game I think it came out in uh, 1989 could be wrong so basically think Road Blasters on Water, which was also an Atari game. So this is a multi-load. Right, oh shit. So basically, as I said, Road Blasters on Water. So I think what you're doing, you're playing as a secret agent. And you've got to do different missions. All water based. Up. So I think what I've got to do is get the cargo, take it from one side to the other side. I don't think I've got the cargo yet. It certainly isn't the best looking. I mean, I don't like those outside graphics. Oh, fuck it. They look very messy. Really blending into the ground, into the ground. So it doesn't look nice at all. There's no water effects. It's just a blue. You know. Oh, what's happened? Oh, it's just nothing there. Just it just goes into loading. So oh, here we go. Oh, fuck off. So it doesn't look very nice. Fucking hell. I mean playability moves along okay. Oh fucking hell. Oh, fucking didn't even touch it. Fuck it out. Ooh. I think actually fuel, I don't know why I'm shooting them. Out of fuel, where's push fire to continue, right? Yeah, look, you got a fuel gauge, and you got reserve fuel. One where they, where they got that idea from? Road blasters. That also had um, a fuel tank and a reserve fuel tank. But then I can't say what one's a rip off of the other because they're both Atari games. Fuck's sake. Oh, fuck it now. Yeah, I find the graphics on this are very messy. Or shall I say the colours are very messy. You can see the blocks on top of the trees there. Okay, now, now I'm out of fuel, now I'm on my reserve. Since I've got boost. Oh, so if you push spacebar, you get a boost. It's like a turbo boost. End of stage. More loading. So now it looks like we're in some sort of dome. Let's jump. Sure, I'm hitting the jump. Why not? No. I'm just driving out. Oh, what the fuck. More loading. So that's going to tell me game. Oh, hang on. You stick to select so we can buy upgrades. How much money have I got? 225. 2,250. Right. Can't afford. I 
can't afford anything. All right. So, ah, oh, so this is where we go for the. Gotta get the crown jewels from one place to another. Okay. Here we go. So this is the crown jewels. Fucking hell. Ah, so I've got the crown jewel because every time you crash, you lose it. It, it sort of um, throws it forwards. So there it is. Ironically, it floats. That's good, isn't it? It's not bad. Well, I say it. the graphics are the things that's letting it down. I mean, don't look too bad with the trees on this level. But it's just everything. I know everything should be green. Yes, I know. I'm aware grass is green, um, trees are green, but come on. And this would have been a full price game. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. Mind you, Road Blasters on the Commodore 64 wasn't. It was all right, but it wasn't a great conversion. I think the Road Blasters on the Commodore 64, same people that did um, Outrun on the Commodore 64, and that was that was a pretty good conversion actually, Outrun. Weren't faithful to the original arcade, but it was still a good version of Outrun. Oh my, right, so that's annoying. Because it doesn't tell you that it's loading the next part. It it just that's it. It just ends. It just goes to black. Yeah, that looks a bit crap. Graphics on the sides there. Bollocks. I mean. If this was a budget title, yeah, it would be alright. I mean, I wouldn't mind paying two ninety nine for this. But put, this would have been full price. So, £10. This is not worth £10. And it would have been quite late into the Commodore 64 run, and I'll run out of fuel again. Push far to continue. This could have been a 1991 game for the Commodore 64. I think even for all the, all the art, microcomputers that come out in 1991. So I think, is it a 1990 game or a 1989 game that come out in the arcade? I think it was a 1990 game. All my boosts back. I can't remember I've got, got to use my boost. I think those green things are fuel. I think with the other version, how you can tell you that you um oh it says end of stage there, but Usually with the other versions, it goes into a black tunnel. See, why is the backgrounds looking the same? I ain't got no more boosts. 
Have I started the game again? Oh, that looks different. I didn't notice that before. Stolen nuclear device. Right, so I must have completed the game then. Not to complete the level, complete the level. Now it's another package. Oh, fuck's sake. So I'm, I'm glad that I did track this down and found a working version, you know, at least I got to see how it plays. And what I missed out, well, did I miss out on it? I didn't, I didn't play this game on anything back in the day. Not even the arcade version. I did play Road Blasters, I had that on my CPC. Oh, fuck it. And that was a good version, actually, on the CPC Road Blasters. See, I don't like that. It's all rinse and repeat. The levels are the same. Can't see any variation. Oh, for fuck's sake, why couldn't they make the boat red? Why is it that horrible shitty brown colour that the Commodore 64 has? Alright, it's brown, it's not meant to be a pretty colour, I shouldn't have said that. Because brown ain't a nice colour anyway, so... You know, it really, you know, when you think of brown... Yeah, shit comes to mind. But why would you want to make a fucking boat brown? How many lives have I got? I'm, there was a load of um, trainer options that I made sure they was all switched off. As I, as I keep mentioning, I do not cheat on my videos. I don't like to run the cheat mode because I like to play it naturally. See, because I take into consideration how easy or how difficult a game is. Now I've played a few games which I didn't know that there was no way you could switch the cheats off because the fucking ROMs they crack and you actually put the cheats in and that fucking pisses me off. Fucking hell. Pollution detection's a bit suspect on this. So I'm in the Gulf of Mexico, so it's up the top where you are. Oh, fucking hell. So I'm on my reserve fuel tank. Just keep forgetting about that. About the boosts. See, that is just stupid. I hate that. That is just lazy programming. Ooh. Right, so it's the last mod. Oh, fucking hell. So I ain't got no more boosts left. Yeah, so the colour choices on this game, on the Commodore 64 version, is a bit suspect. Could have chose better colours. Commodore 64 has got a lot of good colours to choose from, so why have we only got this crap? So how many continues have we got? Don't know how many lives we got here. Okay now. But I made sure all the cheats were off. 
unless something's fucked up with the cracking. And that's often happened as well. You think you've turned all the cheats off and no you haven't because something has gone wrong. Fuck's sake. Perhaps they're just generous. Whoa. Yeah, that, those trees, look at the tops, that is, looks a bit messy. Got blocks going on, all right, end of stage. It says end of stage there, but once again, that's just lazy programming. See, winds and repeat, I've seen this all before. What is this? Is this? I hang on a minute. The president. Oh, so it is a different. I don't know. Something weird is going on with this game. This don't look right. I think. Because I shouldn't be playing this amount of times. So I don't know where my lives are. So, ah, oh, fucking hell. Now, I'm not going to fuck about with this game by look, trying to look for another wrong because. Right, out of fuel. This fire's continued. So, it just makes me think. I don't know. But they haven't cracked this properly. Yeah, I don't like the way you go through parts of level, it just goes black and starts loading. I don't even tell you that, I just, you just might think that the game's crashed or something. Now I don't know if, if this come out on cassette. Should have done if it come out here in the UK, everything would be on cassette. I don't, know who, I don't know who I found a disk drive. Lost my mate certainly again on his Commodore 64. Out of fuel. I'm not going to continue no more. Um, it's clearly something wrong with this ROM. Because I, I made sure all the cheats were turned off. And there's something definitely not right here. Um, it's not very good. To be honest with you, I mean, it plays okay, but it's only at best a budget title. Only at best a budget title. This is not a full price game. It doesn't look like a full price game. Um, I won't. I won't want to be spending ten quid on this. Probably was more than ten quid. Why not? If it was nineteen ninety one, you're probably paying ten ninety nine for it. There's no way this is worth ten ninety nine. Two ninety nine, yeah, okay, fair enough. But graphics are not that good. Graphics look a bit messy. Plays okay, but comes to the question also: was this a cassette release? If it was a disc release, you're going to be paying even more money. So you probably would have been paying fifteen ninety nine for it. No way, am I paying fifteen ninety nine for this? You can fucking shove it up your ass, mate. Um, yes. Graphics look messy, it's playability is alright. Anyway, gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.